my Redemptors confreres, brothers and sisters, friends of the Redemptors. Greetings from the House Chapel of the Provincial Residence in Washington, D.C. Rather than send another letter this weekend, I thought it would be good to speak with you more directly. As strange as it may sound this year, I begin by wishing you and your loved ones a truly blessed Easter. Although we may not be gathered with our faith family and churches, or our extended families around an Easter brunch or dinner, we still celebrate what is central to our faith. Christ is risen from the dead. He has conquered sin and death. He is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In John's Gospel, we read, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. On that first Easter Sunday, the disciples were not outside celebrating the resurrection of the Lord. They were gathered much like us, confined to their houses, physically distant from one another. Yet in their time of sadness and fear, the Lord broke into their lives and gave them his peace. This Easter day, we are not in our churches or gathered with family and friends. Instead, we are confined to our houses. Perhaps many of you are sad and fearful, much like the disciples over 2,000 years ago. My message to my Redemptor's confreres and to our friends is quite simple. Jesus is in our midst. He is alive. He is risen. He speaks to us this day, and his message is very simple. Peace be with you. He is risen from the dead, and yet we still struggle with the effects of this pandemic. This Easter morning, we pray for so many people that the peace of the risen Christ be with them. We pray for all medical personnel and first responders who truly are the heroes in the world today. We pray for those who are dying these days, often alone and cut off from their loved ones. May our prayers be with those fighting this virus, those who have died, and those who mourn the loss of loved ones. Amidst all the fears that attack us, again the Eastern message is repeated. Peace be with you. On the evening of that first Easter, the disciples were together, behind locked doors full of fear. Hear again what St. John writes. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. The words of Jesus are a promise to the disciples then and to us today. These words, peace be with you, are a great blessing that only Jesus can give. He is the real peace that drives out all fear. He had said this to his disciples already on Holy Thursday. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Neither let your hearts be afraid. Note that Jesus' gift of peace did not immediately change their circumstances. They were still behind locked doors. Their situation had not changed, but Jesus gave them peace and faith to overcome their fears. As we celebrate Easter today, our situation will not change immediately. This virus is still among us as we celebrate today. Yet as we face this crisis, we face it not alone, but with the presence and the peace of Christ. The true peace of the Christian life is not in the absence of troubles. Jesus again tells us, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have troubles, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 
on that first Easter evening, the fearful disciples, having received from Jesus the blessing of peace, they were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Because of Jesus' presence with them, they had moved from fear to peace, from fear to faith. The message of Easter is that Jesus has conquered sin and death. And through his death and resurrection, we have his presence and his peace. The ongoing message of Easter is this. Do not be afraid. You are freed from your fear. My Redemptor's confreres, brothers and sisters, being confined to our homes is not the way we thought we would celebrate Easter this year. But we must celebrate this Easter day because the risen Jesus is in our midst. Our country, our world lives in fear because of this pandemic. But just as the disciples rejoiced when they saw the risen Lord, let us also celebrate his presence in our midst. Jesus is alive. Jesus is in our midst. He ain't in the tomb. He gives us his peace. May Mary, our mother of perpetual health, who stood by the cross and on that first Easter day celebrated the resurrection of her son, continue to watch over you and protect you. May the risen Christ be in your homes this day to protect you and your loved ones. And may the peace of the Lord, which drives out all fear, be with you today and all the days of your lives. My brothers and sisters, Alleluia, Christ is risen, Alleluia.